I'm Robert Hone, I'm an ENT consultant and I work out of the One Ashford Hospital and East Kent Hospitals University NHS Foundation Trust. There are a number of reasons you may be referred to an ENT consultant for your thyroid. The most common is a swelling of the thyroid and this can be felt at the front of your neck as a small lump and can be either a general diffuse or global swelling of the thyroid gland or it can be due to an individual or multiple nodules or lumps within the thyroid itself. These obviously need to be investigated and we can arrange any investigations you need. The other reason may be that your thyroid is very overactive and you've been treated by the endocrinologists who have not been able to get it under control with medical therapy, so they may refer you on to an ENT surgeon for an operation. The other reason you may need to be seen is for symptoms from an enlarged thyroid, which are generally called compressive symptoms. These include sort of tightness of the throat, uh, a feeling of compression when lying back, and very occasionally you can have problems swallowing or even breathing. You will usually need a thyroid function test, which is a blood test to check whether your thyroid is working properly. The other investigation, if your thyroid is enlarged, is an ultrasound scan, and this will be done to look at the size of the thyroid, whether it has any nodules or it's diffusely swollen, and whether it goes down to the chest or there's any swollen lymph nodes in your neck. Very occasionally, you may need a CT scan or an MRI scan. Your thyroid function tests assess whether or not your thyroid is working properly and whether it's over or underactive. Usually this is treated with medication, but if it's overactive, it can require surgery if it's not responding to medical therapy. The ultrasound scan is graded via the British Thyroid Association guidelines in what's called a U categorization, and this ranges from one to five, with one being benign or a normal thyroid, two is also a benign nodule, three is indeterminate, four is suspicious for a cancer and five is a cancer. You may need to go on and have a needle test if the nodule or lump is graded as U3 or above, which is also categorized as one to five. So if you were found to have a swelling of the thyroid going below your collarbones in your neck, then you may need a CT scan and that is to look at how far down into the chest it goes. The other reason you may need a CT is to assess whether or not there are any lymph nodes or distant spread if we were worried about a cancer. Finally, if you required an MRI, that is also to look for lymph node spread for a malignancy and to see whether it's involving any other structures in the area. But thyroid cancers are relatively rare and the prognosis is usually excellent. Thyroid surgery is a moderately sized operation. It usually takes about 90 minutes to two and a half hours. It involves a general anaesthetic and usually you stay in hospital one night. It does involve a small scar in the neck and we can remove either just the centre part of the thyroid gland, half of the thyroid gland or all of the thyroid gland depending on the reason we're doing the operation. There's always a risk of bleeding and infection with any operation but the real risks we talk about are damage to one of the nerves to the voice box which is around 1% per side and around half of these recover. All the surgeons at the One Ashford regularly audit their practice and contribute to the national database on thyroid surgery. Lastly, if you are having all of your thyroid gland removed, there is a small chance that we can cause your calcium levels in your blood to drop a little bit low. This is because the parathyroid glands sit just behind the thyroid itself and these can get stunned, damaged or even occasionally removed during the operation itself. This usually needs just a temporary calcium replacement for a couple of days, but sometimes it can go on longer and very occasionally it can actually be lifelong. If you have your, all of your thyroid removed, you will also need thyroid hormone replacement as it would need to replace the normal hormone produced by the thyroid gland. If you have any concerns or think you have a thyroid swelling, please get in touch with the hospital and we would be more than happy to make you an appointment. Mm -hmm.